I am Michael Mullet, David Sewell, I'm Ethan Powell, Blake Husson, and we are going to be talking about the efficiency of utility pig pipeline cleaning. A pig is a more commonly known as a pipeline intervention gadget. It's used for cleaning well and flow lines and enhancing production efficiency. We're primarily focused on liquid hydrocarbon flow lines and we're using an array of different common utility pigging devices that include different coatings, weights, and shapes. And we're also designing a flow line to determine the efficiency of each pig, and we're gonna pack that flow line with mud that will closely resemble paraffin. Pigs are a product of flow line engineering used for various reasons that range from cleaning, inspecting, and blocking flow lines in order to perform maintenance work and more. Um, in our environment, we plan to recreate the Gulf of Mexico and putting our apparatus in that as a replication of that region. And within the industry, it's always important to prevent the buildup of debris within your oil sales flow line in order to gain and maintain the greatest production rate to be the most economically beneficial. And we'll be testing that to seeing which uh, pig we decide to use will economically be the most beneficial. All right, as you can see in our flow line model schematic, you can see where the main flow line goes, and you can see where we're gonna launch the pig from to go through that flow line. And we have a kicker valve to drain water out of the pig entry point, and we also have a bypass valve to drain water out of the discharge point. And Blake, do you wanna elaborate on it a little bit? So the way uh, these valves work is whenever there will be an air vent up here that you have to open, to allow the uh, pressure to fall so the uh, liquid will fall out. Um, we're gonna have two trash cans as our water dumps down here. One will be the intake leading up here and the second one will be from the discharge coming out here so that way the uh, muddy water won't be recycling. We'll have clean water going in one way and the muddy water coming out the other way. All right, the different kind of pigs, we're gonna be using all foam pigs for this because those are, that's the most common material used for utility pigs. Um, the first one up here is just a bare foam sphere. We also have a bare foam cone. We have a coated cone that we're going to have both light and medium densities for to test how the different weights will clean the flow line. We also have a coated sphere. We have both wire brush, cone, and sphere. And then we have this one. All right, the resources required for our experiment, we're going to use eight commonly used utility pigs that I just described in the last slide. And to build our apparatus, we're gonna need PVC pipe and joints and plywood to put our apparatus on, as well as brackets to hold that up. And as Blake explained earlier, we're gonna have a bilge pump to pump water through the apparatus and water hoses to connect both the entry point and discharge. And our total budget should be somewhere around $700, give or take. So with our project, we're gonna be comparing the cleaning capability and the effectiveness of the eight different pigs. We will be evaluating our results uh, by determining the flow rate before and after we send the pig through, as long as recording the volume of removal of mud. Um, and <coughs> analyzing these results will lead to an improved pig selection for future and help prevent corrosion and buildup. Um, it also offers economic advantages. Um, knowing beforehand which pig will be most beneficial for you will lead to saving time and money um, it'll decrease contamination, which will lead to less waste produced. It'll decrease corrosion, allowing for longer pipeline life and less downtime. Choosing the proper pig will also lead to a higher production yield. All right, our plan of action for uh, the next semester is uh, we're gonna start with building the model. That'll take a couple months, gotta get all the supplies and uh, figure out the schematic down to the T. But uh, once we build the model and have it set up, we're gonna start running tests. And to do that, uh, like Michael said, we're gonna pack it with mud and then run some water through to just get the mud out the center and just have a coating around the edges. And then we'll send the pigs through uh, each time doing that over and over. And then running tests that Ethan mentioned to uh, determine how well each pig cleaned and uh, comparing them to each other. Uh, and then for responsibilities, as far as this next semester is concerned, we don't really have individual responsibilities. It'll be more of uh, along the lines of us as a group going out and getting the materials and then us all putting it together and running the tests and coming up with uh, all the data and doing that. So individual responsibilities, we won't really have any. Everything will be a group effort from here on out. Uh, and then this is the timeline for everything. We have uh, two week intervals all the way up until graduation date. 
And uh, as you can see, it's just acquire supplies, build the model, it will take about a month, running the tests and analyzing the data is a month or more. And then finalizing the reports and uh, presentation will be the last month of uh, next semester. That's all we have. Thank you guys. Yeah. So, so this